Alrighty, so we are in the upstairs bonus room and I'm going to show you how to use this TV. It is a little bit tricky, so I just wanna explain some things to you. So we do have an HDMI cord here for you that you can use and an Alexa that also works. Um, feel free to you know unplug it if that's not your thing. And then if you open this cabinet, you are gonna see the little label that the air mattress and linens are in the trunk. That's gonna be the trunk in the corner of this bonus room and it's a clean air mattress. Um, so this is the surround sound control. So this does need to be on for the you know, TV to have any sound. And here is the remote to control this. So what we first wanna do, and this is a little bit annoying, but you have to turn on the TV manually with this little button right here. So to turn on and off the TV, it is manual. We hope to replace it in the future, but we didn't wanna add a third remote just to turn on the TV. So. That is why you have to turn it on manually. Once it's on, you do have Roku and it's logged into different apps. Feel free to log into your own and you just use it with a Roku remote. It's pretty straightforward, very, very easy to use even for kiddos. So that's why we chose the Roku in here. Now for sound, you are going to use this remote and this cabinet has to be open so that um, the receiver can you know, get the the um, controls. So if you want to turn it up, you just, you know, use the volume up and down buttons. And then if you would like to use surround sound for, um, let's say like the HDMI port or something else, then you can just choose this little input selector. Um, it also has Bluetooth, so you could um, control it on your you know, TV. Media box, I don't know if you saw that here, but media box is going to be what the Roku is on. So if you just want to turn it, um, game should be the one with this HDMI. And it's also going to be changing the input on the TV. And then if you come to, let's see, here it is. You can see it's connecting and it's, it has this blue dot that's flashing. This is for Bluetooth. It's currently connected to my phone. So you can see a state about the rest. Um, but if you turn it again, it'll go to media box and we are back with the Roku. So that is how you use it. And whenever you're all done, um, you again, we'll just turn it off right here. Um, and again, very important part of it is that these doors have to be open in order for this remote to work so that you can control the volume, but that is how it all works.